Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Cloudy Weymer. It said on the news last night that it was going to be one of the best days of the year. I'm still in T-shirt. But not my shorts on today like I had yesterday. But it's still warm. It's Wednesday. And it is nearly five to one. Right, I have done as much as that path as I can now with the wood chip because now I've run out. But that's fine, I shall just scout for some more. I've got these to take round to the garden. I already took some round this morning. When I moved that I realised there were patches there. So I've topped up with that. I've, no, I've topped that up with them. I have got my field beans out of the cold frame. And I've planted them all along there and there. I don't want to step on there because I've got potatoes. I've been around weeding and now what I'm doing is I'm going to show you how I plant cauliflowers. Now, yesterday, I'm really sorry, I can't remember your name, but a lady said about the hay, why do I use the hay? Um, it does stop the weeds from growing. And it also keeps the moisture in. When the sun shines, it will warm on the hay, but it won't take the moisture out of the ground. So Ruth Stout. Um, the hay should be thicker than what it is in places. But it costs money. And because I haven't got any transport, I have to pay for it to be delivered as well. Look at my onions. They're beauties, aren't they? They have shot up in this last couple of days. Really have. Right, yes, anyway, she was on about um, slugs and snails. Do I get them? Yes, I do. But underneath, I wish I'd have had my camera rolling a bit ago because... I was just planting a couple of field beans there that I had left over. And um, I have frogs. Frogs live underneath the hay. So, um, slugs mainly will eat some of my crops. But I always plant too many anyway. So that if they do eat them, I've still got plenty for myself and plenty to give away. Anyway, I've decided to plant some of my spring cabbages out. I was given these, remember I said? Haven't got a clue what they are, but now I'm planting cabbages. And I'm going to, sh yeah, they are spring cabbages. And I'm going to show you how I plant them in my, in my hay. So... Let's first of all, I'll get you set up first. First of all, I'll show you what I use. So there's my spring cabbages. They're not big, but like I said, if they do die, I have more to plant. Slug pellets. I do use them because I'm in here, in my cage, so no dicky birds are gonna get in. And I also use these rings. Remember I said they're like scouring pads? And I use this, which I'll show you what it is in a minute. Okay, first of all, I'm going to clear the hay away. Make a little hole like that. Can you see okay? Yeah. And then this... Is for digging holes for I presume bulbs or something 
Don't ask me what they call it. So I push that in. Twist it there. I don't push it in too far. And normally a little plug pops out with it. But it didn't. But that hole there is just big enough. I don't know if you can see. It's just big enough to put one of them plugs in. I'll put you down carefully. We'll choose a plant. This one looks quite nice. There we go. The roots are growing. Push that into that tiny little hole. And then the soil that I dug out earlier, I just push it round there gently, trying not to damage the stalk. And a bit more. Like I said, it might be a bit early, but if they die, then I've got more to put in. If they don't, I shall give the others away. No, nope, you can see all right. There. Now after that, I'll get one of my scourers. They're copper ones, by the way. Unravel it. You get like two bits to it. Get an old pair of scissors. Cut that bit off. So I've got that bit and I've got this bit. So I just stretch it out like that. Put it over the plant. And then, for good measure, Put some slug pellets on. And then that's it. That's my one of my spring cabbages planted. So that's it. A whole row there. Done. I'm panicking. I've seen this done before, but you know where they burn holes in. Um, to plant their plants in the hole that they burn and I'm panicking a bit even though I've got the burn <gasps> I forgot to turn my Wi-Fi off again silly me sorry yes yeah, so I'm panicking about that at the minute I might just cut the holes I don't know right down here I'm gonna be able to plant my sweet corn out so let's show you because it's growing well. There we go. But I don't want the pigeons having it. So I'm going to have to try and think of something to stop the pigeons. Now I have got um scaffolding poles in here now as the fence all the way around so I could somehow try and find some netting or something um, that I can put over the top any suggestions so I won't be putting them in today but I must keep them pigeons off because this place is like pigeon heaven I think soon as spring comes that's it they just dive into everything i mean i've done that with these but they wouldn't they wouldn't land in between these two fences they would land there and like walk to it 
but because that fence is there, the inner fence, they can't get to them. So, what can I do? I might have a bit of, I've got some netting, I know that much, which I could put quite high up and then I can crawl underneath if I needed to, which I really don't think I would need to. And I've got quite a lot of netting, so I could use that. You know, um, oh, that type of netting. Ah. Builder's netting. Would you put that up? I think I've got enough to cover that. What would you put there, please? You can let me know in the comments below. Okay, I have a question for you. Why are daffodils just so perfect? Aren't they? They are just perfect. Look. Beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Except for that one sulking. It's turning the wrong way. All of them are stood facing this way towards me. And that one's got a right sulk on. So the eager beaver that I am has started cutting holes and planted the spring cabbage in. They should grow all right because then at the back there are. And I'm going to show you how I do the last one. I've got a couple in there that won't pull out, I suppose, because they're not really ready. So, there, can you see? Nope. You're going to fall over there. Right. I might not be cutting the holes big enough. I don't know. I've never done it before. Cut the circle out. I'm going to move. Let's see if I can get you real. Move all the hay underneath. Take a plug out. Get my cabbage out. Plunk it in the hole and just gently push it in, making sure that all the roots are in contact that there's no air pockets and then all I'm going to do with them I'm not going to use them um, scrubber things I'm just going to put some slug pellets just a couple of slug pellets in there so I've got some slug pellets just going to pop a few in there like that so there we go I haven't left a walkway because I'm presuming, we'll soon find out, that I can walk in between here, look. I can see where they're actually planted, so I shouldn't stand on them. But I will leave a little patch here for me to be able to get in and out. Look at my pear tree, it's awesome. wonder how many pears I'm going to get on it this year. It's three years old and I got one pear off it the first year. I got 11 pears off of it last year and now it's planted in the ground and it's proving that it's going to grow.
and it's going to produce fruit and I wonder how many I get. They're lovely pears. I need an apple tree. I ain't got an apple tree. These look like they're growing. But I'm not 100% sure. That's got like buds on. And they're turning green. My beetroot is growing nicely. I need some more compost for that and I don't know what I'm going to plant in that yet. I've got to get rid of that. All my raspberries are coming up. Well, they are on this side, they're not on the other side. That's still going, that's celery. That was there from last year. I'll have to open that bucket up and see at some point. Strawberries. I threw loads and loads of poppy seeds down here the other day. So we'll have to see if we get any. <gasps> What is this one? This is Victoria Plum. Look at that. Oh, that has taken. Brilliant. That branch has, but I can't see anything coming on these branches yet. But that one has, but if you look at the rest of the tree, it's got all little buds on, which I'm going to have to knock off. That's my lemon balm. That's growing well now. And my peas. So I think I'm going to go home now. And I've got potatoes growing in with my shallots. Ah, do I let them grow? Or do I pull the tops off? What do you reckon? Right, from cloudy and now it's turned a bit cold. It's supposed to be the nicest blooming day of the year. Yesterday was the nicest day of the year. So what do you think I should do about that um, corn? When it comes to planting it, I don't want the pigeons having it. Right, from cloudy and cold, I nearly said corn then. Cold Weymouth, I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye.